So now let's see how the head turn behavior works inside of character animator. So over here, not all the characters which are here as example puppets um, uh, support the head turn, but the stardust right here does. So I'm just going to open that out and load it out. And let's understand how the head turn actually works out. So the unicorn, uh, unicorn puppet right here is opening out just like this. So let it load. This is quite a heavy file on its own right here. And let's see how the head turn works for this one. Okay, so as it opens up right here, so new scene for Stardust is being prepared and the character is being loaded on uh, over here onto our character animator project file, just like this. And now that it's loaded, you can see the character is here. So if I were to go over here and then move around my head on left and right, you can see that the head of the character turns out. So it actually mimics my head turning as well, just like that. So a head turning uh, option is right over here and you can um, work around with the sensitivity right here. You can turn off the camera input altogether uh, just like that and there is no head turning whatsoever. But I can turn this on with the camera input and the head turning is here just like that. So now you can decrease out the sensitivity so it does not turn around the head too much just like that as you can see right here. But if I were to increase out the sensitivity, the head turn actually takes it into effect. I can go around all the way up to more than 100% as well. And you can see that it expands the head turn way up just like that. So depending on how much of a sensitivity you want, you can go and work around right here. So let's see how that actually works out in a layer setting. So uh, how this is actually worked around is, so if I were to go on to the rig section right here, let's see how the head turn is designed. So head turns are all under the head right here so right now this is the frontal so if i were to go over here on to upward you can see that the head actually turns a bit upward and there's downward for the head as well so all different a set of drawings is needed for this one that is all set of different graphics is needed so there's left quarter right here there's left profile so there's head turn right over here until the left there's right quarter and there's right profile just like this so you can expand this out and see other things like right? the ears is changing as well, the hair is changing as well, and all of these different things are arranged out in layer as the head turn actually happens out. So what is happening in the record area is that uh, it uh, detects that out, and then as the head turns, you can see that left and right, it actually uh, detects it and uh, replaces it with uh, proper graphics. So if I were to go over here on to uh, uh, the rigging section over here. Let's see how this is. So if I were to go on to the head right over here on the behaviors, you can see that this is the head turns right here. So if I were to go to frontal, you can see that this is selected. The upward right here is the upward. You can see that it is uh, linked with this one right here. Downward is linked with downward. Left quarter is linked with this one. Left profile is linked with this one. Right quarter is linked with this one and the right profile is linked with that one. So each of the head turns right here is linked with the tags right here, the head turn tags right here, just like this. And that is how you can work around with head turn options and then understand head turn inside of character animator. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.